Finnish first football, folks. That is a term you're going to want to get to know because it's going to be heard a lot around Winnipeg here this winter. I am in the locker room with three of the Winnipeg Blue Bombers who are sticking around for parts of this winter. Kito Pobla, Enoch Moamba, and Carl Volney. So guys, uh, first of all, it's gotten cold already. Were you, I mean, you're Canadian, all three of you, but were you expecting that? Uh, yeah, well, they, you guys said that it would be cold during the winter time, so uh, I didn't really think it was going to be this cold. It, it is pretty uh, brutal, but uh, I got my winter gear ready and ready to go. <laughs> now, I mean, you get a little bit of snow in Toronto, and then you call the Army in to help you clear it, but you're used to a little bit of winter weather out that way. Yeah, I mean, I, I've lived in a lot of cold places. I lived in Montreal. I've lived in Toronto. I mean, I went to school in Nova Scotia, but, uh, you know, I heard a lot about the, the, winter, the winter peg in Winnipeg, so, you know what, I, I'm just ready. I'm bracing myself for it. <laughs> They're all laughing like this is, it's brutal. It's not funny. It's not funny at all because, I mean, we've lived in Michigan and states and it's not the same. When, no. they, when they really call it win winter peg, it's really winter peg. <laughs> <laughs> well, these guys are going to stick that out. They're going to be back and forth to Winnipeg this winter because they're holding a football program called Finish First Football, as you saw on the back of Carl's shirt. So uh, I'll start with you, Keto. Talk about the idea behind you launching this camp because you did tell us about it on the Bomber Show in the summer that you had the idea and now it's become reality. Yeah. Yeah, well, the, the, the main concept is to have uh, high school and club kids come and uh, train beside professional athletes uh, to prepare themselves to, for, um, for the upcoming season. Now, Enoch, I know you guys could go home and not stick it out in winter peg all winter. Uh, why did you decide to do this and stay here and, and give an opportunity to, to these kids in Winnipeg? Just like you said, it's just to give uh, kids, you know, Canadian kids, the opportunity to become better in the off season, and that's how the idea first got uh, started. Keto and I and Carl, you know, we just talk about football in the off season, how it is in Canada, and how it's different from the states. So, um, you know what? We just want to give them an opportunity to have football all, all year round, so they can improve. Y'all boys ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. We were talking a little bit off camera about the fact, uh, Carl, that you guys, you put in the extra effort and that's what you have to do if you want to get far in, uh, in football, in anything in life really. So you guys uh, decided to head outside onto the field in this freezing cold and, and run a few drills to prove the point. But uh, the idea is in February and March, you want kids to come out and, uh, and, and really get that experience as well. Tell us about what's going to happen in February and March. Um, this is going to be a speed training workout where uh, kids can learn the techniques and the development of how to get faster for the combine. And also, uh, Keto is going to be running the program on how to stretch and get them flexible, you know, because not, mo not most kids are flexible in high school. They just go out there and lift weights. And that's not the purpose of it. We want them to get faster. So. Did any of you guys have this sort of thing with uh, a, a chance to work with professional athletes when you were coming up through the system at all? This is a very unique, you know, experience, yeah. and yeah, you sure. know that we're we're trying to offer the kids. And I haven't really heard of anything like this before. And I, you know, as a as a high school kid in Canada, I would have loved to, you know, participate in something like this uh, back in my days. Okay, so parents, uh, there is a website on the screen you can see right now. Go there if you'd like to register your students for uh, February, March, but also April. That's maybe even more exciting because you have got you're planning an all-star roster to come to Winnipeg yeah. for a, a gigantic event. So tell us about what's happening in April. Um, in April, we plan on having a, a Finnish First Football Elite Football Camp, and um, uh, we plan on having a couple guys from the NFL come in, um, Antonio Brown from the Pittsburgh Steelers, uh, Josh Gordy from St. Louis Rams, Nick Ballor from uh, New York Jets, and, um, and, and then a couple guys from the Swaggerville are going to be there. Of course, got to represent with the Bombers, and so uh, there's going to be guys coming up, or from everywhere, um, professional athletes coming from everywhere, and then uh, we plan on just having fun at the camp, and um, as well as it's going to be, we're trying to get some CIS and NCAA recruits there, and um, we just plan on uh, having a, a fun time and and getting these kids uh, the proper the proper teachings that they should be having. All right, parents, we want you to sign your kids up. I mean, what better opportunity than to work with these guys, members of Swaggerville, and some other athletes from the NFL, CIS, etc. Amazing opportunity for these kids. Who wants the final word here as we close out the interview? I'll go to Carl. Why should they sign up? They should sign up because it's going to be a different environment. You know, it's going to be more of a football practicing level. And then, you know, we want the kid to go out there and have fun, but also learn, you know, the basics of what we want them to, to get better at. Cool. Actually, I should ask you before we go, we are in the empty locker room. This will be the last time. I mean, obviously, you're going to empty this room out and then reload the new stadium. But uh, A, how do you guys feel being in here? And B, are you over your sort of the Grey Cup sadness? Has it passed yet? 
<laughs> it, you know what? I feel like it's just how you look at it. And I feel for me, I'm just going to use, you know, that last game to, sure. to get me forward and to move on into to next year. And that's what I'm going to be thinking about in the offseason when I'll be training, when I'll be training with yeah. the kids and finish with football. That's what I'll be thinking about to motivate me for the next season and just to get better and, uh, you know, to, to have a better season next year. Keto? Yeah, Enoch hit it nail on the head. Uh, I believe that you don't really lose until you quit. So um, we got another season, and and um, we just got to get that to motivate uh, us to get to where we want to go. And obviously, we didn't finish. So next year, we, we're going to use what we got now, and uh, and and finish this whole thing off. Perfect. All right, boys, we're going to finish with one last shot of you in the snow because that's kind of funny. Thank you. <laughs>